All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Scar Navarro. I am the Drama King, where life is drama, drama is life. And if you guys were traumatized by the 2020 version of Disney's Mulan, don't worry. There are other adaptations that are out there that that are at least at least worth mentioning. But anyway, though. Um, Anyway, though, I know this week was the release of Mulan, and boy, did it leave a lot of controversy and a lot of, let's just say questionable surprises here and there for those who didn't watch it or survived 90 minutes of the movie. <laughs> Don't worry, there are also adaptations, there's also other adaptations as well. As many have known, Mulan is, um, the 2020 Mulan is the remake, the live action remake of the theme of the well known 1998 anime, Disney animation, which all of us grew up in. I was around six when I, when that movie came out. And it definitely did teach a lot, um, taught a lot about persevering, embracing all sides of ourselves. And also not being afraid to take risks, but even even knowing not just knowing about our own our own past, but learning to embrace ourselves as individuals, and as well as learning from one another as well. But overall, though, there's a history behind the legend Juan Mulan. And it all started in the northern and southern dynasties, or the northern Wei dynasty. And for and for more information, though, Hua Mu, her name is Hua Mulan, and she was a very she was a very well respected warrior and a very remarkable a very remarkable figure, especially in Chinese history. And there has been several accounts of of her own of her, of her story but this is one of them which one you can find it on wiki or any other page out there and I also find the I also send out the website where you guys can find a bit of information according to several historians which I found it yesterday but I'm gonna definitely put put it down um, I'll update it with the information you guys all right Hua Mulan she was a well-known female warrior from the northern southern disease which is on 4th to 6th century of Chinese history. According to the legend, Mulan takes her father's place in the, in the army and disguises herself as a man. After a, after a prolonged and distinguished military service against the nomadic tribes from the northern frontier, Mulan was honored by the emperor, but declined the position of high office. She retires her home to her hometown, where she is reunited with her family and reveals her gender, much to the astonishment of the comrades. Basically, she she not only disguises men, but but she would fight she would fight make, to make sure that her country is saved. She definitely is someone that a lot of us all can look up to as someone who who can who taught us it's that's important to persevere on our own goals as well. And even for those who saw who saw um the Disney nine ninety eight cartoon, it definitely did leave a lot of a lot of things to learn. Um and also one of the first recordings was called the Ballad of Mulan, which is um which is a song which is a song which is based on her on her story and it was written right around the the Northern Way period. Um a court a court according to his historians and definitely definitely talks about how how she had talked about her journey as well. And there's also another account though, which was around around the the beginning of Tang Dynasty, around the Sui Dynasty, 
from the Sui Dynasty, especially when the Sui ended in the in the Tet Song began, in which one there has been a lot of a lot of mentions in around that period though, but I'll definitely send send you guys the link so you guys can at least learn from different accounts and definitely you guys can at least deviate from what we all grew up watching and see what you guys think. Alright then for those who want to see other see that there are other adaptations of the besides the 2020 film which has cost a bit of stir but I do have to give credit though. The, cinema, the cinematography is really good though, that I have to give credit, but there is a lot of controversy though regarding being filmed in a concentration camp in Xinjiang province, which has been the topic of not just discussion, but it also, um, because, of the, because of what is going on in Xinjiang, as there has been a lot of persecution against the Uyghur Muslims, and it is been a huge issue that's, that is going on and still going on at the moment. And nobody should be persecuted for what their beliefs are, but but unfortunately though, um, there's still, there's still so much hatred and so much that we are always doomed to repeat history. But anyway, um, leaving that aside though, there are also many adaptations based on her as well. Which we'll get to in a quick minute. But overall, there have also been movies and dramas made about her. And we'll definitely go to this list right here. Alright, in 1928, there, um, the first movie was, ever, was done called Mulan Joins the Army. And then, and then it was remade again in 1939. And then, and then in the year 1964, Ivy Ling Po and Jin Han were starred in the film Hua Mulan, which was produced by Shaw Brothers. Which Shaw Brothers is one of the um, one of the most recognized film studios in Hong Kong. Which they've also had some, um, a lot of well-renowned film, films that have been around since the 60s, 70s and even the 80s, no, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, but right now they're, um, right now they're also producing dramas, HK dramas as well, and it's been an, an iconic film studio even to this day. And then in 2009, there's also another movie adaptation, Wouldn't Come In Until 45 Years Later, and it was directed by Jin Wo Ma, and it starred Zhao Wei and Chen Kun in and then in 2020 the infamous um, the infamous Disney live action came in which was also the remake of the 1998 animation starred Liu Yifei, Don Yen and um, Jason Scott Lee Yosun An, Gong Li, and Jet Li, Chung Tae Pei, and many more also started in this live, live Disney live action adaptation. And then there's also another another movie coming um, that also is is out there. I don't I want to make sure if it's correct here. Um, that stars Wu Jian Fei and Wei Wei, and I don't know if this is 100 percent true. Please. Please, um, please, um, quote me on this one, but if not, please let me know. And also, in terms of animation, though, there is also, there's also the well-known 1998 mo movie, the 1998 animation, which all of us grew up in, and it, um, has a really well-known voice cast. One of them is Ming. Mingna when who did the voice of Mulan and Eddie Murphy who also voiced Mushu and they also have some really good characters such as Li Shang 
the Emperor, and just many characters. I, I'm trying to name on the top of my head, but it is um, but it is still a memorable production till this day. Especially watching, especially watching it as a kid and realizing how much of an impact it was. That there will also be a, a part that there that Disney would end up producing a home a home to video sequel, Mulan 2, which was released in 2005, and at and Mina when also also returned to voice Mulan once again, and in the terms of dramas. There has been, there have been a few drama adaptations as well. In 1998, PDB produced the t a tough side of, of a lady, and the title is Kwamula, which starred Marianne Chan in the leading role. And then in 1999, a year later, Anita Yuen and Vincent Zhao Wenjuo, along with Vincent Zhao. In collaboration with Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China, also produced Hua Mulan, which is also which also gained popularity back in the year 1999. And then, let's 14 years later, not one but two dramas came out around the same period, which is Jin Guo Da Jiang Zhen, or or just Mulan itself, but they changed it to Hua Ruolan. And it starred Elan Kong, Chen Si Cheng, and Yuan Hong. And then in the year, and then around that same year, another drama which is called Hua Mulan Chuan Qi, which starred Ho Meng Yao and Dylan Kuo. And both of them came out around the same period, around the same year. And then in two thousand four years later, in 2017, a a show called Star of Tomorrow, which included a child a cast of chip, a child cast, also did a did a live action play based on Hua Mulan. On Hua Mulan. All right then, what was my favorite one overall? Though I did the one that I truly did love until this day though will have to be Mulan. And I have to say though, um, I'm definitely gonna watch the 1999 version as well, um, for the one from Taiwan as well. I have not seen the PVB 1998 version as, as of yet, and over. And I definitely feel like those two, in terms of dramas, I definitely will be watching and definitely seeing which one I'll, which one I do enjoy it. But I do have to admit it though, I do like the 1999 cast. A bit more, but no offense to TVB, but I'll definitely give the TVB one a chance. But overall, though, what were your thoughts about Mulan 2020? Was it bad? Was it good? Did you like it? Did you loathe it? Or did you really hate it? Please send me the comments down below. And and also, um, if you have any thoughts, comments, or concerns, please put the comments down below. And I'll definitely add the website that I found um, in regards to like learning about the different. The, various accounts of Hua Mulan and overall though what did you think about about this did you watch any of these versions and at all did you like did you like it did you love it or did you hate it but also um please like and subscribe and if you have any just like I repeated earlier if you have any thoughts comments or concerns please comment down below and hope you have a wonderful blessed day and also there are other adaptations besides 2020 Disney live action that you just give it a chance and you'll see a bit of a difference. Alright guys, take good care and have a wonderful day. Cheers.